keeping your personal life separate from your home life can sometimes be really difficult and never more so when you're carrying multiple devices. We're here with LG at CES Unveiled to have a look at how you can maybe merge your personal and your home lives while not distressing your IT department. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here, Tony? Sure, so what we found is a common problem out in the workforce is that people have their own personal numbers and they want to be able to bring those personal phones into the workplace and use them to run their enterprise applications. IT managers have a problem with that because the information needs to be protected and managed in a way that the enterprise information doesn't get outside of the to their competitors or other folks. Developing a new technology with VMware, we've taken their virtualization engines and put it into a mobile device. And this is what we're showing this evening is our LG 4G Android smartphone running the VMware technology. And this is allowing, again, customers to have two phones in one. And we think it's quite compelling. It's new, something that uh, enterprises are looking for as they're rolling out Android into the workplace. And so I could run two different versions of Android on the same phone. Correct. What we're showing this evening is uh, we've received an LG uh, Innovation Award from CES in that we're showing the dual persona solution. And again, it's like having two phones in one. So now I've got two different instances of Android running on the same uh, 4G LTE enabled device. So now I could flip it, click the work phone. Now I'm in the work side of the device. And the work side of the device can be controlled by the IT manager and it can be running whatever version of Android. And in this case, we're per intentionally running an older version of Android, 2.2. And 2.2 is a Froyo. And by al uh, allowing the IT manager a bit more time to upgrade, it gives them flexibility in deploying Android inside the workplace. So now I'm going to go back into the home side of the device, and here I could download Angry Birds, I could run my personal applications, and you'll notice that I am now in 2.3 version of Android. So you'll see that I've got 2.3.4 running. So again, two versions of Android, so it's like two phones in one, so you no longer need to carry a home number and a work number and to carry two different pieces of hardware. So the IT department can then lock the side of the phone that they want locked and keep all of that data sort of under password protection and everything else, while on the other side of the phone I could be downloading whatever I wanted and going on my Facebook and everything else. That's correct, because we see a lot of people that want to download and play Angry Birds, but the IT manager is not so keen on it. So what they do is allow you to do that on your personal side of the device, and on the enterprise side of the device, they're not going to they're going to control what applications that they uh, are installed on that device. And also, if you quit the company or left, they could then wipe that side of the device, and it doesn't disturb any of your home photos or your personal contact list or anything like that. So I would just bring this phone to my IT department and say, "Hey, I got this new LG phone. Just do whatever you have to do on your side of it, and leave my side of it alone." Is that correct? I would think of it a little differently, is think the IT manager says you want to roll out and you, you want to bring your Android into the, uh, the uh, enterprise, then what you're going to do is have the enterprise uh, console that the IT manager would then push the VMware software out to the device, and that way then you could run enterprise applications. So I'd see the IT manager kind of being in control of the, de the deployment. When are we going to see these phones starting to come out and this, this software, is it already available? Can we already get it now? Or is it something that we can look forward to in the coming months? So we're in customer trials now, and we're working together in partnership with carriers and with VMware to roll out this uh, technology later this year. Perfect, and how much is it going to cost? Is it going to be incremental, or is it going to be a subscription kind of service? How is that going to work? So the pricing hasn't been announced yet, but we are working together with the major carriers and with VMware to announce the uh, pricing and the business model. But it will typically be charged on a per user basis. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you.